It seems like every day there's another twist in the LAPD cadet scandal. Well, today, an LA City Councilman is calling for change. Add to that, yesterday, an officer was arrested, accused of sex with an underage cadet who's already in trouble herself. CBS 2's Lori Perez is live outside LA City Hall with the latest twist today. Lori. Jeff and Sharon, we spoke with Councilman Mitch Englander just a short time ago. He says he is looking for a very public, very thorough review of all these LAPD youth programs. Everything from how they're run and who runs them to the financing, how they're reviewed. He says he envisions talking to psychologists and teachers and other experts to protect the kids and the programs. First and foremost, before being a council member, I'm a father. I have two daughters that have been involved in youth programs their whole lives. Councilman Mitch Englander, himself a reserve police officer, is leading the call for a hard look at all LAPD programs involving children and young people. We've got to make sure that parents feel safe when they're sending their kids to these programs, particularly with the men and women that are wearing a badge and a uniform. His motion comes one day after LAPD Police Chief Charlie Beck personally arrested one of his own. Veteran officer, 31-year-old Robert Kane, accused of having sex with a 15-year-old cadet. One of seven cadets arrested last week for stealing police cruisers and taking them for joy rides. It was during that investigation, detectives say, they uncovered the underage sex while looking through the teenage girl's cell phone. Neighbors in Kane's Rancho Cucamonga neighborhood were stunned as investigators searched his home Thursday. He's a good, good person. He really is. Meanwhile, Chief Charlie Beck held nothing back responding to the allegations. I find the uh, actions of Kane, if they are proven, to be despicable. Now, under the cloud of this growing scandal surrounding the LAPD cadet program, their latest class is set to graduate tomorrow. Chief Beck will address the graduates. He has said he remains committed to the program.